with our 300 plus kilometres of naturally wonderful coastline. Our Redlands coast is known for its water-based recreation such as canoeing, kayaking, surfing, paddle boarding. Also, traditionally, our First Nations people, the Kwandamuka people, have been using canoeing and kayaking to traverse across our islands, our city of islands here in Redlands. We believe we now have a great opportunity to create a cultural and a recreation legacy for this part of South East Queensland. Council is now endeavouring to provide a feasibility study into providing a recreational area that will feature a whitewater rafting facility. This may be of advantage to a bid for the 2032 Olympic Games, but more importantly will help us be connected to the rest of South East Queensland for things that we are known about, our beautiful waterfront, our waterways, and of course our access to great things in South East Queensland. Preliminary discussions with our area's traditional owners has indicated significant opportunity to tell the Kwandamooka story through such a facility and in turn create tourism and economic activity for our beautiful Redlands coast. The whitewater rafting canoeing facility could also be designed to an Olympic standard to be used as a venue for a potential South East Queensland Olympics, which is currently being investigated by the South East Queensland Council of Mayors. Initial investigations into the SEQ Olympic has already identified that Redlands could be a potential location for a whitewater rafting kayaking facility because it supports our coastal location, our cultural connection to kayaking through the Redlands traditional owners, the Kwandamooka people. So from this point, Council will conduct a feasibility study to make sure that such a venue would be sustainable into the future and not only be a cultural legacy, but also an economic legacy uh, for our beautiful Redlands coast where it's naturally wonderful.